Hi. I know it's been so so long since I was on YouTube I thought it was a year yesterday when I was looking but I think it's two I'm using my sister's vlogging camera to test it out and see whether I should also get this camera because before I was vlogging with quite a big um, Canon DSLR and it was a bit heavy and cumbersome so uh, if I want to continue this journey, I think I need to have something that's a little bit more um, That's a better size and that can I, I can carry around and and be Incentivized to catch you guys up on YouTube. Where have I been mainly on Instagram? You guys will know if you follow me there that I'm very active uh, really busy <laughs> there, so if you've been uh, with me the last two years, you know what I've been up to uh, if you haven't, uh, I'll catch you up a bit later. I'll just give you like a highlight and a summary of, you know, what I've been doing and where I am. Um, but yeah, this video is going to be an evening routine. I just want to show you what I do when I get back home from work. Uh, I'm now, uh, given that we are in a better position, COVID is not completely gone, but we are able to um, kind of work around it and I'm back at work two days a week and so today is Monday so I was at the office and I'm just gonna show you what I do usually when I come back some of my rituals and routines that uh, I incorporate into my evenings to just relax and have a nice little uh, time before I sleep so first of all let me show you what I wore to work today and then we can take it from there so this is what I wore to work today. Simple white blouse and brown uh, trousers that kind of just cut off at um, my ankle. The top and pants are Zara. This sweater is Itikadi, you know, it's still a bit chilly even though the sun has been peeking out a little. Um, and I wore the outfit with just simple pearl studs. I wrapped my cornrows into this bun, which I like doing because um, it just keeps it in one place. Um, and then I just like the look as well for work. And then my yellow, uh, these are my work heels. Let me just see that. Like I wear them almost every day that I'm going to work because they're so comfortable. And they're kind of like a good medium between like a heel because I am not one of those girls that wears like heels to work. Like. Firstly, that's not the kind of like work environment I have and it's just also not what I like to wear in terms of like work. Um, but I also don't really like flats for work. I like a bit of like, you know, a bit of a heel is nice. So this is a perfect medium and if I'm running errands maybe after work I can still, these are still really comfortable to do that in. So I love them. I got them from Mango maybe three years ago I got actually this is not even my size this is a size four I think um, and it was the last pair so these shoes actually are really tight but I think they've just gotten used to my feet and they've expanded a bit I'm usually a size five so um, but I love them so much I just I couldn't leave them and they were the last pair so let's go make dinner I'm going to probably have ugali mboga and mala for dinner uh, I have some leftover ugali, so I don't need to make uh, ugali fresh, which is always nice on a day that I've come home, like from work, because you know you don't want to get busy, and I live alone, so I don't have anyone to like cook for me <laughs> and have dinner ready by the time I get home. Uh, so I'll do that. So yeah, um, so, and then the mboga I kind of pre-cooked yesterday, so I'll make just like a quick. Uh, I'll add some onions, tomatoes, some cream, um, and have that. And then, of course, mala is just always ready in a bottle, so that should be quick and easy because, yeah, in when you've when you've come home from work, like I'm not a fan of like doing too much work, cooking or in the kitchen. I just want to keep it simple. So let's go and do that.
just sat down to finally have my dinner i feel like it's been such a long evening so <clears throat> i'm really looking forward to eating first of all <laughs> and then watching some youtube i want to show you guys the people that i'm subscribed to on youtube i watch a lot of different things on youtube from vlogs of course to um social commentary to uh music videos i am one of those people who still loves music videos i also really love a particular music show on youtube called a colors show which is which i've been watching for years and i'm just so obsessed with firstly the music selection that they bring onto the show beautiful always like discovering new artists or they amplify artists that are like really um you know not as popular and not mainstream and then they just do it in such a beauty it's so beautifully produced they style them really well and they put it in like they're like uh performing in this like really just a simple uh i guess it's like some kind of studio but yeah i really love um a color show another music show i really love is tiny desk obviously but let me show you uh some of the people that i watch So let's zoom in a little. You can see here uh, the top of my list. I don't know how this is uh, curated, this like top part. I think it's uh, based on maybe who you watch frequently. Um, and TMI podcast is definitely one of those uh, channels that I watch frequently. I love Marugi and Lydia. So interesting. And their dynamic is just so bomb and i love um uh, that it feels like they are like we're 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 brought into like their friendship um and you're just like sitting in on like one of their chats which just it always feels like that i love it i also really love dimma um dimma is a nigerian beauty and lifestyle uh content creator if anyone doesn't know she's like really popular um she has i think like about 400k subscribers i really like her as well she's she i love the makeup that she does um and i just like her i like i enjoy watching her i also really love kimberly nicole foster kim makes social commentary um uh, she talks a lot about pop culture as well. She's like a super um, compelling speaker and just I love how she delivers points and I can listen to her all day. I'm also subscribed to her Substack, so I also get uh, some of her private content, but I love what she posts on YouTube. I love Lydia Dinger as well. I am so anticipating her wedding series. Um, 
not just because I, I want to see how she went about it, but also because um, some of you might know my sister is getting married. And I do want to, you know, uh, like see some of the insider tips. Although I have a feeling that she might release it a bit too late for me to like really um, make use of it for the wedding, which is coming soon. So I don't know. Let's see. I also really love Noriana. She is a London-based a uh, luxury content creator is what I would call her. She's so, so stylish and I love her vlogs. She's also, um, her boyfriend edits her vlogs and he does an amazing job and also edits like her content on Instagram. Um, I love what they have here uh, on YouTube. They have like sit down videos, which I, I really love sit down videos. I don't know, like I know vlogging is like really big, but I'm also just like, I just love when people sit down and have like a conversation about like a certain topic. So um, I love when she does that. And the last video of hers I watched was this um, fall wish list. I also really enjoy Annie Drea. I think she's so good at editing. I love how she um, just edits like her, her edits are really good her vlogs can be super long like up to an hour but i really enjoy watching her and then bells ah oh, i love 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 bella she's so so uh what what can i say about bella bella is really good at curating uh I love how she curates her content. I love her beauty content. She's like a really good with makeup. And I also really quite like her style. Um, and, and just watching what she gets up to with her friends and uh, some of her travel as well. So I'm a big fan of Bella. So those are just a few of the other people, of the, of the um, people that I'm subscribed to. Yeah, so those are the people that I love watching on YouTube. Of course, there's so many more. Those are just a handful. I have, I think, 237 people that I'm subscribed to on YouTube. So that's uh, a lot. <laughs> um, there's always something new to discover. And for me, it's always like entertainment or even like learning something or, um, yeah, just really being inspired. So... I will make a playlist of uh, maybe a few of my favorite videos from each of um, the people, uh, each of my favorite creators on YouTube. And then um, you guys can let me know who you love and who you enjoy watching on YouTube. Plug me also to some new, um, you know, channels that I should check out. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Let me have my dinner. And then we can end the evening together and I can catch you up a little bit on some of the things that I've been doing since I was last on YouTube. bedroom what I don't think I've shown also I don't know if by the time I was I stopped vlogging you had or I had already painted my wall my bedroom wall so this is my bedroom wall so it's just um a feature wall so only one of the walls is uh this color and this is polished leather by crown paints I think it is I don't remember but I will definitely put it in the description uh, because I still have the tub actually and there's some parts that I need to have like redone a bit and I think I might just do them myself um, and also I got this wall hanging last week uh, from Afro Dutch collections I've spoken about them before I bought um, some homeware from them before and i just love the i love what they have and the 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 range that they that they have stocked um really like very much my aesthetic like natural um recycled material and always just looks so stunning so that is the piece it's just a wooden um wooden frame with the raffia wall hanging so and then uh the rest of my walls are white, so there you go. Those curtains are by Nishit.
in case anybody is interested and love them um they just are just simple white curtains yeah so i promised to update you guys on what i've been up to since 2020 um a, a summary really because you know it's been a year and a bit so <laughs> there's so much that's happening in between but i guess the main thing is i i focus more on instagram because uh my page really picked up momentum and i think it's a very natural thing to focus where you're seeing output um i, I even heard jackie talk about this as well she has also recently come back on youtube and she was saying the same thing um that she took a break from youtube for other reasons and then said that her uh, one of her pages was really doing well and that kind of gave her motivation and i think that's definitely been the same thing for me because yeah i had been doing youtube really long and okay really long at that time now like two, what two three since 2018 so that's what four years that's what wait am i wait 21 wait 2018 20, 2019 20, 2020 wait why do i feel like a year is missing 2018 2019 2020 three years so i had been doing youtube for three years um pretty consistently and the growth was really slow um i don't know like <clears throat> i think it is what it is like i just i really loved and i enjoyed creating um but the momentum was really slow and that's not the reason why i stopped i think i just took a break and i just got tired um but then once i started investing more on my instagram page and really growing or rather being very intentional about the content i was creating there i had been doing since 2018 for people who've been following me that long i had been on instagram i had been creating on instagram but in a very um not ad hoc i guess yeah you can call it like I would post mostly when I travel and when I was traveling I would do photo diaries and they were like recaps basically <laughs> what are now recaps but like on you know on holiday and I remember anytime I would do them I would get such an overwhelming response people are really engaged and at that time I was at maybe like 2k 3k just my my friends and that sort of thing but I had really high engagement when I would travel and do those those photo diaries. Um, and then obviously the pandemic uh, happened and I wasn't traveling. We were all not traveling. <laughs> and um, and I said, you know, I really miss like creating in that way. I really miss the storytelling format. And I was like, maybe I should just start doing them like of what I'm doing um, and see how it goes. And... I always wondered whether the engagement and like how well photo diaries would do was because of the trips or because of the way the uh the of the way it was curated and I said let me see whether let's see let's see whether it's really the it's really the the the, the traveling bit it's a traveling element or the or the storytelling format and I think I discovered through the journey and it's, it's you know it's obviously still now I'm, I'm i'm still creating on instagram and and sharing there that it really was probably partly traveling but it was a hundred percent or rather also significantly about the way that um the way that the content was being curated and the way that that the, the the idea of like bringing people along and that's really the essence of what like a recap is um bringing people along and letting them see uh in a very you know in a very intimate way like the things you're doing and like um being really using really um nice pictures and kind of capturing your day and also i i really love that idea of just taking pictures throughout the day and then sitting down to like curate what you use and it's kind of what you do with a vlog because with vlogging you don't post immediately like you sit back and edit and it's the same concept um really and that's why i also had been thinking once i start once i come back on youtube what am i gonna do about the recaps like 
am i going to change the schedule will i still be doing re recaps as frequently because doing them is very much like vlogging <laughs> because you do a, you show a lot of detail there as much as it's mostly pictures you do show a lot of detail there and it can be very i'm like okay do i now will, will i now show the same content on youtube as i do on instagram like how will it work basically but i'm still figuring it out and i think over time it will um kind of figure itself out i don't want to put so much pressure on it i really want to just focus on creating what i love what i like and leveraging the beauty of youtube which is just the long form um and i can be creative in a different way so i i really do want to enjoy that without the pressure yeah um since 2020 um my a big part of my life is obviously in 2020 you guys will know that my niece was born sage the dino and she is now two years yeah two two years and a bit does, does that make sense <laughs> two years and a bit she's now just over two years and my goodness like when i look back at the time she was born and like thinking thinking because <laughs> i remember that year so she was born like middle of the year and life was so like oh my god there's a baby and like she's so tiny and like we are all like kind of coming together to like look after her and to like be together and enjoy raising her and it's now been like two years of just like watching her grow and watching her be like and you know move from being an infant to a toddler and it's just it's the best and most beautiful um part of my life like i love i love I love having her around, I love watching her grow, I love um, just seeing her take on life and seeing what she loves and what she enjoys doing and how she's learning to, you know, just navigate life. It's it's really just the most, one of the just most special parts of my life and I thoroughly enjoy being an auntie, I love just like doting on her and she has my heart like this like she can have anything like as far as i'm concerned <laughs> tebby tebby would not like my sister is such i mean she's such a great mom and does such a good job raising her and keeping her well balanced and disciplined in a really healthy and um you know uh in, in a really healthy way so i really appreciate that but like every time i watch her, i'm like wow i just i have no self-control like if it was me like there's so many things that i'm just like oh she can have them or like you know i i just love how she's able to be really measured and like she can remove herself from the situation and be really objective about what's good for the baby and like what's really important so that's been so that's been such a big part of my life in the last two years and uh, there have been so many special moments you know birthdays and just like trips and words and you know new, new things she does like what is she doing recently that's 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 interesting i just she like says she says no a lot she is very expressive and just like super confident she's just the best you know she's the best person i know for sure um and i'm just so proud of her and i really could go on and on about her and 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 we can be here all night so <laughs> Let me just leave it there. Um, yeah, I'm I'm looking for some new challenges in in life, and and I'd love to share more about that when I'm in a better <laughs> when I have some certainty about what that looks like and where that is. I've already I've been really um, I've been feeling this way for a, a while now, and I've definitely been working on it. Um, and once I have something to show for it, I, I I can you know delve deeper into it. But I'm I'm definitely in that space where I'm looking to, um, just grow and really start a new chapter in my life in you know in certain regards. <laughs> so um I can I can share more about that again once things are settled. But overall I feel 
today I feel um I feel good and I'm I'm doing my best to be really intentional and focused um on on taking ownership and and really um what's the word taking responsibility for my life and for the change the changes i want to see like at the start i had such a frustrating year last year like i had so much going on that was just really deeply frustrating <laughs> and you know especially on one front i i i think i don't really want to say more than that because uh, it's just thinking about it takes me to a, a, a not so I, I don't like re re thinking about it too much but I remember coming into this year and really feeling like I want to not feel so helpless and like I don't have much power over my life like I do have power and there are things that I can um, mold there are things that I can mold and I'm going to do that so yeah um i think i'm gonna leave my my update there as promised i will still share um my uh up my oh god i'm so distracted because my phone is ringing so i think that's it those are a few pockets of updates i hope that's um i think that's pretty or comprehensive enough I will love and leave you. Um, let me go brush my teeth, um, and then uh, I, I usually put on a lip mask and call it a night so that I can sleep. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I was trying to think, what do I even need to say? <laughs> anything that's important that I need to um, in, that I need anything important will be in the description box please subscribe to my channel um yeah that will encourage me to know that you people are watching that will signify to me that you are interested in 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 me staying on youtube and i, I would love yeah i would love to engage here um but also please do follow me on instagram i will uh still be posting there for sure because i um also really love content content creating there so i'll see you guys very soon Smile